Hi guys, my name's Lily, I'm a hair colourist and modern perm specialist and in this video I'm going to show you how to trim the shaping around the front of your face and also how to properly trim a full fringe. Okay, disclaimer, no this is probably never going to be as good as when a hairdresser does it, however fringes get in our eyes and the hair around the face can very easily get split ends, so this is a good way of tidying you over just until your next visit to the salon. P.S. Make sure you have hairdressing scissors. If you have curly or coily hair, then I suggest smoothing the hair out so it's straighter as it will be easier to see how much length you're cutting off. Start with less on this guys, you can always cut more off but you can't stick it back on. Hashtag breadstick. Okay, so first things first, do not trim any hair that is past your recede point. The recede point is where the hair goes back on either side and you never want to cut any hair past these points. Okay, let's speed it up a bit. We haven't got all day. Oh, well actually, I, I have. So what we're gonna do is section off the hair at the front into a triangle, not going past the recede points. If you part your hair slightly on the side, do these same steps wherever you normally part your hair. If you have a heavy side fringe, then DM me because it's a bit different. Okay, so get your clips ready and we are gonna start sectioning off the hair. If you're trimming a full fringe, then skip to 419 now. So you're gonna start with a small triangle section either side of the parting. Keep the triangle shape even on both sides with the point of the triangle going towards the back of your head. Keep the triangle quite small here guys, you don't wanna get carried away, you don't want any tears, and clip the rest of your hair back. Grab your scissors and pull the hair down straight in front of your face really tight with lots of tension. If you normally have short curtain fringe, then start at the eyebrows. If you have mid-length shaping, then start at the tip of the nose. Or if you have longer hair and you just want to dust the split ends off the front or just have like longer shaping, then I recommend you start at the jawline. That odd face is me deciding where I want to cut my hair to and I decided tip of the nose, aka the cheekbones. So what you're going to do is copy the shape of the triangle at the top and cut that shape into your first section. So pull the hair down nice and tight and cut two sides of the triangle into the hair like so. Make sure both sides are the same length and you are going up to a point and up to a point that side. Pull it down and that is your first bit of shaping. Voila! So now you're going to do a slightly bigger triangle with more hair. Keep your sections thin, don't go crazy. You want to always make sure you can see your guideline and what the guideline is, is it's the point of hair that you've just cut. So I want to be able to lift up and see that triangle. So you're going to cut another triangle into the hair, but this time lower, leaving about one to two centimeter gap between them. You can see the triangle shape here and I've left the hair longer. Now we are going to take another triangle section, a little bit bigger, do you see where we're going with this? But never past the receipt point and check that you can see your guideline underneath. So we're going to snip another triangle into the hair, again one to two centimetres lower than your previous cut. So we're leaving the hair longer each time and what you can see is it gives us really nice shaping around the front. Okay, so final section, again never cutting lower than the receipt point, gather the hair and bring it all together in front of you. Yep, you've guessed it, we're going to cut another triangle into the hair, leaving it longer than last time. Make sure your lines are nice and straight and keep both sides the same length. Snip, snip, snip. Bring it down, see what you're working with and you've smashed it guys. Okay, so if you really want to feel like you are hairdresser of the year, bring the section with the shorter pieces together with the longer hair and chip away at any split ends you might have. Literally, I'm talking about taking off the tiniest amount of hair. This is what we call dusting. Do not go crazy. Okay, you can do the same on the other side and again, just dusting the tiny ends off so it feels nice and fresh. I do not recommend cutting anywhere else on the head, only the front as this is where the hair is usually a bit more damaged and you will have split ends. Don't try and cut the back because your hairdresser will be upset and they'll try and kill me. But that is how I would recommend that you trim the shaping around the front and tag me in your results. Let me know how you get on in comments and tag a friend, good luck. Okay, so here's how to trim a full fringe. So you're gonna start with the same sections as before. Again, never cutting past the point of the recede. You're gonna take a horizontal slice section across the fringe and keep your sections nice and neat. If you have fine hair, you can do this in two sections. And if you have thicker hair, then you can do it in three sections. Gather it all together between your fingers and put it down in front of your face with lots of tension. Decide how much you want to trim and start cutting across. Now, how you're going to cut is turn your scissors to a slight angle and cut across. Snip, snip, snip. This technique is forgiving of any mistakes and gives a nice soft line. 
So you're going to cut across, take your time, make sure you're going in a straight line. One thing you can do to help check is run your fingers down and make sure the hair is straight. All right, so that is your first section done. Now take your next slice across and keep your sections nice and neat. Remember, if your hair is curly or coily, your hair will jump up. So take off a little bit to start with and you can always come back and take off more. Again, bring all of the hair down in front of you, keeping very tight tension. Check that you can see your guideline and cut the hair to the same length as before. Okay, if you prefer a blunter fringe, then keep your scissors flat and cut straight across. I only really recommend to do this if you've got a bit of experience. This is where it could go badly wrong. Okay, there you go. We are getting through this now. So next and final section, back in front of the face and check your guideline. So you can either snip snip with the point cut or you can <laughs> cut, I've gone mad, cut blunt and you get a blunter effect. You can see the difference there. I prefer a point cut, so I'm going in and just cutting a bit more off. And there you have it guys, that is your full fringe. This was the point that I realised I'd actually cut myself a full fringe in the name of a tutorial. Tag a friend and I hope this helps someone. Bye!